we are back with another Ransom review. This time we are checking out another Marvel Dice Throne. This one, however, is a two character expansion. It's the Black Widow, uh, Doctor Strange edition. So you get these two additional players. Uh, again, the way the game works primarily is you have a character sheet, you have dice, you have a character deck. You are using your turns to collect resources by selling cards you have in your hand or just gaining them naturally. And then you are specifically um, using that to buy upgrades for your abilities and attacks and then attacking players with the purposes of knocking them out of the game so that way you can win. So let's just take a quick look with all that considered of how the game works on what you get in this box. Sure, throw away your silica packets so your kids or animals don't eat them. Get a much smaller version of the rule book. But it looks like it'll still encompass everything. And then you have your player tokens uh, that you can basically use in the game. Little thing specifically for Doctor Strange and Black Widow. And then I love the artwork on these trays. I think they're really cool in the design. And then for instance, with Black Widow, you have uh, Baton Strike, Infiltrate, Red Room Training, Widow's Gauntlets, Hacked, Grapple, Sabotage, and Vengeance, and that's really cool. And of course you have your health and combat points tracker. You have your dice, as you can see, you got like eyes on there, and the widow symbols, and the tons. So that's really cool. And then you have your deck, which again has more artwork and allows you basically to do additional things. But let's now dive into Dr. Strange and see what he's got. Doctor Strange, of course, has another one of these trifold boards. And we have Augury, Universal Awareness, Book of Mashanti, which is a passive ability, Astral Incursion, Mystic Bolts, Wand of Atom, Binding, and Cloak of Levitation. So that's really cool. And his decks, of course, have his symbols, book of Ashanti, so that's really cool. So, I mean, it's it's a lot like the other one, of course, except you are getting different powers and abilities. If you do have a favorite character, it's nice to, that they're making more of them, so you can play as your favorite character or, or get different cards and abilities that you can basically play through in these games. So that's really cool. I hope so, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we do these videos every Friday. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.